All right, Senator Serville. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, speaking to the bill. Yes, sir. So uh, about one in four of the people that I represent in the 36th district were born in another country. And they see legislation like this as being an attack on them. That's the reaction I get. And not only them, but I have a lot of people who've lived in my district for their entire life who see this bill as an attack on the community that I represent. Um, what I worry about when I see this, aside from the message that it sends, we've had specific situations in my district where um, ICE felt like they claim they haven't changed their enforcement policy, but they decided they're going to come in looking for one guy at some place, and they end up walking out with 10. And it's clearly, I think, illegal, unconstitutional behavior by federal law enforcement officials. It violates not only the federal constitution, we also have a state constitution which has the Declaration of Rights in it. And being uh, the state which was the founding place for the Declaration of Rights, I take that very seriously. The federal government doesn't seem to have any regard for the constitution when it's enforcing these laws. In addition to that, my local police departments expressed concern to me that ICE has decided that they're no longer going to wear jackets that say ICE, but they're going to wear jackets that say police. And that kind of behavior has created all kinds of confusion in the community and caused a lot of people in our community to not even want to talk to the police who have been directed not to ask about immigration status. And so the federal government's activity is inhibiting local policing because of their behavior. And my concern is that if, if we even, if, if our local government, local police says anything about immigration to their local law enforcement, that your bill might be, or this bill might be, it might be interpreted as a violation of that bill. And so it creates all this opportunity for mischief and confusion surrounding something that's already a big mess because of the Trump administration and what they've decided, the policy that they've decided to change in terms of how they enforce things. And, you know, it's gotten so bad, I don't know if anybody remembers, but I think it was about three, three weeks after the inauguration last year, ICE decided to come into the 36th district and raid a hypothermia shelter. People that were trying to stay warm from the cold, the ICE agents hung outside and waited till they came outside and then picked up eight guys, six of which were actually legal residents, <laughs> took away two of them, but they ended up detaining six legal residents because they were trying to find um, people who were not legally present at a hypothermia shelter of all places because they were so desperate to, I guess, meet some quota. So I I'm concerned about the, the message this sends the law enforcement, the opportunity it creates for, for problems with um, somebody potentially saying that, that the, some of the jurisdictions I represent are breaking the law. And the last thing I'll say is that I feel like a legislation like this sends a really bad message to business about the values that Virginia stands for. And we saw what happened in North Carolina last year with regard to the bathroom bill. I think this kind of bill, um, uh, I think, sends a similar kind of message. And when we're trying to recruit a company like Amazon to come here, this kind of bill tells Amazon that Virginia is not interested in... Um, in, in, in folks um, coming into this country. And I know you're not directing it at, at people who are coming in legally. I get that. Um, or people that come in on whatever it is, M1 visas or whatever, they're, whatever they are. You're not aimed at that. But the message that it sends when the only states that are, that are going in this direction are, 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 have very different policies, I just think it, it's not good for business, not good for jobs, and, and, uh, and I don't think we should support it. Senator Favola. 